creatine for muscle mass. There's probably no supplement that's been uh, more uh, tried and true and analyzed and reanalyzed than creatine. Uh, creatine is a natural compound found in, in meat and fish. Uh, it is basically made up of three amino acids, but it's probably best taken in powder form and, and taken supplementally uh, because uh, your body needs to be saturated uh, with creatine in order to get the results that you're looking for. Um, by that I mean, this is an extremely important point, creatine is a cumulative supplement and not an acute supplement. And that is to say, in other words, an acute supplement would be something like taking possibly a caffeine capsule or drinking a cup of coffee. If you take a caffeine capsule, you're gonna get the results immediately. You're gonna feel energized. You're gonna feel that caffeine capsule working in your body, where and then a short while after that, when it dissipates, you're not gonna feel it anymore. It's different with creatine. Your body and your cells, muscle cells in particular, need to be saturated with creatine. And in fact, 95% of the creatine in your body, it resides in your muscle tissue. So you wanna make sure that you saturate your body with creatine. You wanna probably do a one week, what we call a one week loading phase, and then you could drop off to less than that after that. Creatine also works extremely well when taken, and it should be taken with juices um, or carbo, a high glycemic carbohydrate source, because it works extremely well with insulin uh, uh, to, be, uh, to allow it to get into the muscle cell itself quicker and more efficiently. So uh, what creatine is gonna do is it's gonna increase your energy, uh, the body's production of ATP, it's going to increase your muscle cell volume, it's gonna actually increase your body's ability to get stronger and, and harder contractions. It's not, uh, it's not uh, rare for people who take creatine after a loading phase, after a couple of weeks in of taking creatine, it's not rare for them to see themselves 10, 15% stronger, sometimes even greater. One of the major complaints from those who take creatine is that they say that the creatine causes stomach disturbances. Um, I mean, anything in large dosages, creatine is considered a safe supplement, but, but you shouldn't overdo any one supplement. Your body's always seeking to find its homeostatic place and rest and get acclimated. So it's always good to back off any and all supplements, except maybe your macronutrients, your protein, your carbs, and so on, and your healthy fats. But with regard to creatine, um, you want to make sure that your trying a, different, a few different types of creatine. Don't just try creatine monohydrate, which is the one that's most often cited in statistics and studies, uh, because that one tends to cause some serious, as I said, stomach disturbances. People who try that find they're spending more time in the bathroom than they, they are in the gym, uh, in which case you might want to try a creatine blend, which is creatine uh, ethyl ester, creatine malate, creatine monohydrate, all in one form. There's also another form of creatine, uh, crealkaline, which is a pH buffered creatine. Uh, which I've been taking for years and, and uh, I recommend to all my clients because you can get creatine in pill form and in, ca in uh, capsule form and in powder form. It's always best and more efficient and cheaper to take it if you can in powder form, specifically, uh, especially creatine because you can mix it with a high glycemic juice like a grape juice or something and drink it right down without a problem. But I would say try, before you abandon creatine completely, try some of these other sources of creatine because uh, you're definitely going to want to uh, add it into your program for the muscle gains and size and strength that it's gonna to bring to you.